cuteness overload right now. Hi Rainbows, welcome back to my channel. I am like a kid at a cupcake shop on Christmas. The doors are closed and all the food is mine. <laughs> I'm excited. So literally the postman just dropped up at my house and dropped off my order. So I have both palettes. Gosh, sorry, Hazel's like going to town. Whoa! 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 Makeup brushes going everywhere. My conspiracy and the mini controversy palette has arrived. I'm going to do two separate videos, one on the conspiracy, one on the mini controversy because I don't think you guys are gonna sit here for an hour while I like, you know. <laughs> you guys know that insaneness that it was to get these palettes. I'm in Western Australia, so I was up at 1 a.m. 1 a.m. It was worth it. I was in the checkout for an hour and a half. Then I couldn't get back to sleep till 5 a.m. <laughs> Bloody hell, the things you do. And then Hazel woke me up at six, so good times. It's so worth it though. I'm so excited. I've been avidly watching the series. I've been soaking it up. I've been loving every minute of it. I am a massive Shane Dawson fan. I feel like I know it sounds creepy, like people say this to me and I love it, but I'm saying it about Shane. Um, I feel like we'd be best friends. <laughs> Shane, if you're watching this, please be my friend. But we've been on YouTube for a very kind of similar amount of time and just like seeing him grow, seeing how successful he is, it's incredible. So I know how cool is this? So today I'm going to do like my usual kind of review videos of palettes. We'll be doing swatches, finger and brush swatches. I'm going to do not one, but two different makeup looks. One on each eye, so one more of a all out. Oh, there goes my brushes. One, like, all out there. Hey, no, that was mummy's phone. Yeah, that was mummy's phone, you just, oh. Thank God it's not broken. <laughs> oh, my heart. So I'm gonna do a more extreme look on one eye and a more, I guess, mm, everyday look on the other eye for you guys. Because I do love Shane, I do love Jeffrey. I'm a massive fan of Jeffrey's products, but I am going to give you a no bullshit review, my honest Mommy. opinions of it. Yes, sir. Yeah, I can see you. Um, Hazel is. Yes. Mommy. Yeah, you're very cute. Hazel obviously is with me today. Um, if you guys don't like kid noises, if you don't like Mommy. background stuff, if you don't like mess, Mommy. it's the wrong channel for you because we keep it real here. This is mum life. I'm not hiding anything. My life's a mess. <laughs> I'm so fucking tired too. It's not even funny. Holy balls. I'm like mm, dying right now. So basically this is the outside unicarton. It's a little bit squashed, but that's okay. Um, could have been me just gripping it extra times. Oh, Hazel, I've got child locks on those. Did you learn how to open the child lock or did I not lock it properly? Fingers, watch fingers. So I ordered this one from Black Swallow. The other one I did get from Princess Polly. So, holy balls, oh my God. I mean, you guys have seen this everywhere already. So, oh, it's just so beautiful in person and it's tight. <laughs> the tighter the better, they always <laughs> It smells good too, like it smells expensive. Oh my God. So yeah, this is basically how it looks in the packaging. It is beautiful, shame. Jeffrey, if you guys are watching, Mommy. amazing job. I haven't even opened it yet. You're so cute. Oh, look at her. And you know it, aren't you? So cute. Can you say hello? Can you say hi? hi. Oh. So yeah, I'm actually like looking at this like up close. Oh my gosh. There's um a little. Sorry, I know I'm being very nitpicky, but there's like a little bit of a shadow mark. I hope no one's like been in my palette. I haven't even opened it yet. Let me just like see if I can take a photo right there so you guys can see. Or even a video. So there's a tiny like little shadow mark. I really hope no one's been in this palette and like put their, swatched it and put a shadow mark on it. Cause I mean, I'd still use it. <laughs> Just spray it with some alcohol, we'll be fine. But yeah, there was a shadow mark on that. Anyway, this first time opening it, brand new palette. The packaging is just divine. Very, very, very high quality, as always. Um, okay, let's open it. Okay, 
I'm inspecting it. There's a little bit of like glitter on the, the side. I mean, everything does look okay, but there's a little, yeah, there's like a little, little bit there, a little bit of the, con is that the conspiracy color? It doesn't look like anyone's fingers have been in that boat. But yeah, it looks fine. Um, I just looked at the Trisha shade. That looks like a little bit puffed in one area. But oh God, I'm being being a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm not. It, honestly, it looks fine. Like, I'm not that anal. Um, but, sorry, none of that bothers me. I'm not f faced by that. I'm just saying. I'm just giving it two years, you know. Um, so I'm going to take this little slip off the mirror. It's so weird and so surreal to actually like have this in my hands and I've loved seeing the whole process of everything behind the scenes. But God, people have been going on about this for ages. I don't want to dive into the packaging and all that because you guys know about it. Lee's taking Hazel to the park so I have some time to film. Oh, grateful. Very, very grateful. All right, so I... God, I can't quite remember how much this was off the top of my head. I think it ended up being just shy of a hundred dollars. Uh, something like that. I will put the figure in here because I can't remember. Mum brain. Um, so I'm going to just basically prime one eye. I'm not big on primers, so I'm just going to like do a concealer type thing. Oh, sexy. <laughs> so I think we'll do the fun, crazy kind of side first. Wow. These are fucking beautiful. I did see a picture of someone that did the palette rearranged. Not saying that there's something wrong with this arrangement, but the rearranged one was like, wow, like it looked like a completely different palette in a way. I'm really drawn to these kind of colors. Oh, I'm just, yeah, like always, I don't have a plan. I'm just going to wing it and we'll see where it takes us. Bowls, it's pretty. <laughs> I'm just dipping in to flame and hot. Definitely pigmented. It is a very, very soft shadow. So like even just dipping in, there is a, like the fallout can happen. I'm not fussed with that. I'm personally not one to tap off my brush. I don't like wasting that pigment. It's probably 20 cents right there. <laughs> so I'm basically just going to pat this above my crease. I'm definitely the one to like stamp the color in and then go in and blend from there. I feel like I've done a lot of kind of red looks recently, but I'm liking it. I'm gonna go in with pigment. So I still have the same brush. I did just like dust off any excess and again, tap it in. It is definitely a very soft shadow. Um, but so far, like it, it's true Jeffrey formula. Like I pretty much own all of his palettes. I've done reviews on most of his palettes and I've, I haven't been disappointed yet. So. so just in that inner portion, I'm going to do more of the pigment fading to the flaming hot. And of course, you don't have to take it up as high as this. <laughs> Hello. Um, you've got to do what, what suits you and what like your normal tastes are as well. But because this is like the holy balls side, I'm, I'm just going up to my brow bone. Uh, I'm finding that those colors are working really well together. They're blending quite nicely together. Dusting off the excess, I'm going to go into my peels and this will just be like the last kind of on my brow bone type thing. Man, I should have waxed my brows. Sorry. <laughs> All right, that is beautiful. Okay. So again, I am just tapping this. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, that is beautiful. That color, oh my, oh, it's lovely. I'm liking it. This is what happens when you don't plan looks out, but I like doing it that way because I think it's more kind of authentic. So just back into a bit of pigment and I wanna like just, oh, that's kind of darker than I thought. My pills, like blur that out a bit. So beautiful colors as always. Um, oh, flaming hot. Like I know it's been said, but yeah, I just tapped into that. And yes, it, as I said earlier, very soft shadows 
and they do cause a bit of fallout. But in saying that, no fallout on my face. I don't tap my brushes off. Like, don't waste that pigment. <laughs> That's just me personally though. If you wanna tap off your brush, go for gold, tap away. So I will grab a bit more concealer and just like neaten it up. It doesn't have to be perfect, which is good because I'm not really good at making it perfect. And I do have very kind of, I've got uneven eyes. They're a bit hooded. They're a bit all over the place really. So it just makes it a bit challenging. If you say it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just makes life easier. Oh, camera, get with it. Okay, well, while that is still tacky, I really, really want to go in with Illuminati. Oh my God, it's so stunning. So I'm going to go in with finger because, <laughs> well, who doesn't love a good finger? So I'm basically out of portion. Oh my God. My God. It's fucking beautiful. Wow, that, oh, you guys know I have a thing for green. Oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go conspiracy, still with my finger. And this can kind of be the center type shade. I mean, wow. Just dip in with a brush and just kind of, you know, go up a bit higher. And then I will do Diet Cola in the inner portion, but I just want to blend these two together a bit more. There's a fly. God, you can tell summer's here. Flies. I know I said Diet Cola, but food videos in that inner portion, I think I have to. I, I, I think I have to. Yeah, I have to. Sorry. I am just patting this on a very dense brush. Oh my God. It is intense and I like it. So I'm going to go back in with Conspiracy and just kind of blend those together. Thoughts so far? I can't fault it, honestly. I can't. The matte blending in with the metallic or the whatever it is. Um, beautiful. All the mattes blending together, especially over a tacky base. Sometimes, you know, it can get stiff <laughs> it can harden up very quickly it can get stiff really hard Fuck it, what's wrong with me it can get stiff very quickly and be hard to work with but these honestly like beautiful beautiful especially over that tacky base amazing so i'm going to go in with my rides here because i want to kind of blend that Illuminati into the not a fact with some of this. Oh, pigmented. So I'm just really kind of patting those two colors in. And of course, if you want to like completely outline that cut crease with this, that would be amazing. With this shadows, I, I feel like I am able to work quite quickly and still get a beautiful result. As much as I would love to spend hours, I'm um, sorry, this is the not a fact color. As much as I would love to spend hours working and playing with makeup, having a toddler um, at this stage of my life isn't, doesn't always make it possible. Most majority of the time, Hazel's amazing. I love her to pieces. She's the best thing in, my, in the world. And yeah, most of the time when I film, she's amazing, but today, not so much. And especially this being like the launch that it is, I know I have to get this video out as soon as I possibly can. There's already friggin' a million and one videos on there. I haven't seen any Australians do a video yet. Who knows, they're probably out there by now. But you know, I, I just wanted my take on things and in my own style. You guys know I'm just myself, so yeah. All right, I'm gonna fix this up later. I think we'll move to the other eye. I'll do the rest of my base and then we'll come back to the eyes. I'm going to just prime. I need new brushes, hey. Like what brushes are you guys loving at the moment? Because my brushes are shit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in for Diet Root Beer. Beautiful. Again, very similar to the other eye. I'm gonna just pat this on. Of course, you know, you can always go in with the lighter shades first, build up, but 
go hard or go home <laughs> okay so i'm mainly doing this one in this outer portion then i'm going to dip into tanacon and just do the inner portion again padding tanacon is beautiful i mean these shade names all living and then back to root beer and they work so beautifully together so i'm just dusting off all that excess and then i'm going to start to kind of buff it away and just blend those outskirts and honestly this top part of my brow that is still kind of tacky concealer and i feel like it's just magic um i've got a little bit of my pills on my brush as well just just then i honestly think that this palette i know it can like maybe look daunting to some people but the amount of versatile looks you can create with this i think it's just going to be amazing mm. Mm. oh that's a look right there so of course i think this would be stunning if you went in with a bit of not a fact and and started making like a neutral kind of plummy burgundy color even my rides here if you really wanted to like ultra smoke it out but i think I'm, i am going to leave it at that in terms of depth but just saying that you know those possibilities are there um again i'm going to go in with my oh sorry <laughs> don't mean to flip you off i'm going to go in with my finger let's go this one ring finger and i'm going to go in with just a theory i mean hello 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 oh my god that is beautiful as you guys saw i didn't recut the crease you definitely can especially if you want to make it like super crisp and everything but i didn't oh my god i'm gonna go in with dark diet cola especially because i didn't use it earlier Poles, that is bright that is just stunning and why not a tiny bit of sleep paralysis again still with the same finger I'm doing this easy guys so just a tiny bit in that outer portion and then i'm going to go back in with the brush and blend that out so i'm going to take a little bit more root beer this can definitely be a time where you want to take some some darker color uh, some of the the black if you really want to just very lightly in this outer portion and blend that in with the sleep paralysis oh, stunning and honestly those colors blending together like i haven't even gone in with a brush and i think they're just beautiful we're doing it a little bit of my rides here tiny bit just kind of elevates it to the next level or if you easily want to go from like a daytime look to nighttime here you go your brides here that is beautiful i am going to go in with a bit of ranch and that is going to be on my brow bone oh my god and a little bit in that inner corner as well i think definitely the diet cola is very metallic very shiny very like whoo so if that is a little bit too much is that even in focus bloody hell if that is a little bit too much in that inner portion the ranch color stunning really obviously depending on your skin tone as well if you are deeper in skin tone the justice theory would be beautiful as well so man like honestly i think that's the quickest that i've ever done an eye Lee has his work Christmas party coming up. I'm so freaking excited because we very rarely will have a babysitter. And oh my God. So I might even end up doing something like this for the Christmas party. So let's have a look up close so far. This is in 100% natural lighting. I don't have my beauty lights on or anything like that. Uh, so this is how it's looking. I think I do have a bit of fallout happening. Um, yeah, I do. A little bit of fallout happening here. Uh, but this is so far. So I will put my ring light on just so you guys can see with um, lighting. This is with the lighting. So yeah, I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'm looking flushed. I'm a bit of a sweaty Betty. But once I've done my face, I will be back and we'll continue on with the eyes. Okay, foundation and I'm not finished the base, but you know. I've also done some liner. I just used the quick flick, the green one and the black one both in grand because size matters <laughs> so we're gonna go back to this eye and I'm gonna line my waterline with the designer brands pigment plus liner this is in a green color but yeah I've absolutely been loving 
Shane's content lately, and I know this is kind of sounding like a big suck up. Yeah, no shame. It's very true. And honestly, one day I would love to meet him because I think he's just amazing. And Jeffrey as well. Absolutely. And I've been really loving the series, like just getting to know more behind the scenes and just what happens, you know? I have been trying to get on the Jeffree Star PR list for a while, but I'm not big on Twitter. I just don't use Twitter. I just, I feel like I'm not that interesting. I don't know what to post, you know? Like, man, am I just boring? But I know so many of you guys use Twitter and you're like, I don't have Instagram. And like, you miss out on my Instagram content. I'm going to go in with some Not A Fact and I have more of a stiffer brush and I'm going to start connecting from here. I mean, I know the liner, the shadows go down very low on this side. So I'm going to try my best to like match that up. Try and like connect that because, oh, I feel like I'm going to fuck it up, but we're just going to roll with it. Okay. I'm definitely not going to lie. I'm not the best with like super exaggerated shadows and like blending in, in this area. I'm just unco. I just, I need to practice more. That's all I know. I'm going to dip in with cheese dust because I haven't used that color yet. And hopefully it's not going to go too muddy. It's kind of going a bit muddy. I'm just like winging it. It's going to be fine. Be fine. Be okay. <laughs> oh, balls. Have I, have I messed it up? Oh. It's way too low. I look like I've been punched. We're winging it. It's meant, it's meant to be like that, guys. It's an exaggerated look. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I fucked that up. Um, so I'm gonna go back in with Illuminati, and I really, oh, and that is falling out onto my concealer. Damn. So definitely, I should have used that wet. Wet would have been so much better. Things are better when they're wetter. Back in with a bit of food videos and I'm just gonna like tap that in there. I'm gonna go in, oh, oh shadow in my eye. Oh, it's in my eye. <laughs> it's um, Trisha. Oh, that has the prettiest kind of blue shift to it. Let's um, get some concealer and see if I can fix that. <laughs> and now it's gonna be a pain in the butt to blend out that blush. Oh god, I think that's looking better, but <laughs> so I've got another designer brands liner. This is um in like a fleshy nude kind of color. This does have a little bit of shimmer in it as well. Definitely matte are really good, but shimmery kind of gives your eyes a bit of a sparkle. <laughs> like look, look at the eyes. I uh, seriously the difference. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with diet root beer. Of course, you don't have to do this. I do, I am kind of a sucker for matching up um, shadows along the lower lash line. I feel like, because my own lashes are just non-existent, so sparse. Seriously, a balding man has more hair on his head than I have on my eyes. <laughs> but even when I do have kind of mascara and everything on my lower lashes, even my top lashes, it just doesn't, it's not enough to give my eye more of a, more shape in a way. Um, so I definitely do love kind of matching that up along the lower lash line. So I'm just going to dust away that excess. This is the concealer brush that I did just use. Majority of the concealer is gone, but I just feel like it helps to really diffuse that line and you can, you know, add some more concealer if you really want to. All right. So I'm going to do a little bit of ranch. Oh, that is so freaking pretty. And I think I'm going to grab some ranch and do it on my brow bone on this side as well, because I don't have a highlight there. And that seems to work quite nicely, especially over an already pigmented brow bone. <laughs> Looking good. So I'm going to put some fake lashes on mascara. I'll be back and we'll do some highlighting from this palette as well. And we'll try our lipstick too. <laughs> it's so hard to see without my glasses. Oh, um, so lashes are on. You know when you like just guess how much you need to cut off because you or you assume you know how much you need to cut off your lashes but you cut too much off and then it's like oh that doesn't look quite right so yeah that kind of happened so i'm going to go in with ranch and maybe i don't know if the just a theory is going to be too dark i'll dab into a tiny bit because we're going to use these as highlighters because why the hell not so i do have setting spray already on oh my god 
and because I am Moonbeam-esque holy balls, um, I, you know, can kind of get away with a pure white shadow as a highlighter. Oh man, that is fucking beautiful. I'm just going to diffuse, diffuse that a little bit. So here is my mini controversy palette. I'm just going to open it because this is where I got the lipstick from. So I did order this one from Princess Polly. This is the lipstick. So I did get um, Andrew's lipstick because it just stunning so this is the are you filming lipstick i absolutely adore the packaging it's been a really long time since i've used a red lipstick for because my red realm from jeffree star is like completely dried up i still have it i'm like clinging onto it but yeah all right i might give this a bit of a shake actually oh it is stunning it has like a sarsaparilla dr pepper Maybe that's root beer because we don't have root beer in Australia. Is this root beer scented? Is this what I'm smelling? Is root beer sarsaparilla? Is that the same thing? I don't know. God, answer. Let me know down below. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Don't know look amazing. Nothing on my teeth, oh no food in there, no. So that is basically makeup wise complete. Who would have thought one palette, these polar opposites, is that in focus? No, it wasn't, sorry. I love it. Quickly touch on the lipstick, fabulous. Best red color in the world. I love red lipstick. I think it's like, I feel so glamorous when I wear red lipstick. I think this is universally flattering, it's just, stunning shadow i mean it works beautifully as a highlighter that eyelash is popping off don't judge me okay <laughs> let's zoom you guys in and give you guys a really good look so i kind of like yeah i'm not perfect at makeup i'm not claiming to be still learning every day so this is basically how that's looking i mean that blend could be a bit better beautiful colors I am so impressed with the range, the pigment, how it blends, how it works. And I just think it is absolutely stunning. And like this side, it was a dream to do. One of the quickest eye looks I think I've ever done. Like just, that's just the quality of the product. The shade range, it allows you to create something like this in like two minutes. Basically. I absolutely adore this look. I think this is beautiful for day and night. I think I'm gonna wear something like this for Lee's Christmas party because I think it's stunning and especially, do I have lipstick on my teeth? No, okay. Especially paired with a red lip, like, oh man. I do wanna show you guys in different light and then we'll get into the swatching and um, talk a bit more, I don't know, about whatever you guys wanna talk about. That was obviously with my beauty light. I'm gonna go into the toilet of all places because our second toilet I mean, God, how dark is that? Our second toilet gets like the most amazing light in the afternoon. Well, maybe it might be the bathroom. Oh, it's kind of shit, actually. It's quite cool light in here. I mean, oh, I can't really see because I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> like, hi, toilet. Hi. I do want to show you guys in like full on daylight as well. Oh, so, oh, nah, that's kind of shit. You can't really see anything, can you? Um, yeah. Uh, didn't really work. Let's take some photos as well, just to show you guys. I am like, oh, look at this lighting right here. Oh, oh, yeah. Impressed. As I said, I own majority of Jeffree Star's palettes and lately I've been loving his draw breaker just because for the bright colors. But I feel like honestly this perfect combination of like a beautiful neutral palette and the draw breaker in a way. I know looking at it, it can be off-putting to some people. I have read comments online, like it's not my cup of tea. But honestly, I think if you actually give it a go and like just look past some of the craziness, not that it's that even, even that crazy, but would you have thought you could create something like this, you know? And this can be bumped up if you want more. You could add in, not a fact. You could add in some Illuminati. You could add a pop of bright color on the lower lash line. Like you could do Trisha on the lower lash line. You could add warmth in with cheese dust. Like oh, the versatility of this palette, like I'm just like, 
amazed amazed and oh mm. let's get into some swatching now i'm going to just swatch on my arm as i always do i'm going to point you guys down to the crutch hello you can see my cool shorts hi <laughs> Okay, so as always, I'm just going to swatch this on my arm because this is the easiest way and I'm too lazy to move my camera, basically. So we're gonna go top row, left to right and we will just get it done. So first off, we've got Ranch. It's got this beautiful, like, pearlescent kind of glow in there and there's still some on my finger after a swatch as well. Very, very creamy and soft shadows. My peels beautiful perfect matte color like it's stunning i'm not sure how that one would go on darker skin tones i mean it still could be beautiful but it does seem maybe a little bit on the cooler side so i don't i'm not sure if that would go ashy or not i don't know tanacon again beautiful friggin stunning all-round shadow okay next we've got diet diet root beer yeah diet root beer Again, stunning, darker version of Tanacon, maybe a little bit warmer, beautiful, just a theory. Ha! Oh, this, holy balls, stunning, amazing. Yes, goodness. And then we've got Spiraling. Am I saying that right? So again, this is more of a metallic, very, very soft shade. Does it have a little bit of a brownie kind of shift to it? But it, it's beautiful. So we've got Conspiracy. Stunning, love it. It's got a little bit of a goldy kind of shift to it, possibly. Uh, we've got Pig Mint, beautiful matte food videos. Again, matte. This is just all one swatch as well. This one is maybe a tiny bit chalkier, maybe, but if you really concentrate and pack that color on, it's stunning. So we've got Trisha. This texture does seem a little bit coarser nothing that is really going to bother you that much and yeah it is definitely more kind of softer and crumbly but beautiful uh cheese dust and flaming hot we've got what's the tea diet cola and not a fact so i did notice with not a fact it does feel again like a slightly coarser pigment something that you won't notice when you're using a brush but feeling it on my fingertip it's not as soft feeling as some of these other shadows but again there's nothing wrong with that so this is just a second swatch so with this one you may need to like take that little bit of extra time and build up the pigment but in saying that like sorry flashing is i didn't notice the difference on my eyeballs so it's okay <laughs> got sleep paralysis stunning yeah that is oh beautiful illuminati friggin beautiful probably my favorite shade and my rides here. So this black, very, very soft. Like the textures between these two are quite drastic when you feel it on your hands, but beautifully beautiful pigment. So here you have it. So I want to also do some brush swatches as well. I do just have a dense brush here. We'll try um, food videos, why not? Because it is a bright color. So yeah, definitely patting the color on Building it up is going to give you, I think, more of a payout than if you swipe it kind of thing. Spiraling, still with the same brush. Again, padding motion. You can go in probably with these a bit wet. As, I, as you guys saw me, I used my finger and I think finger worked beautifully. And then once you've packed the color on, you can go back in and blend the color out a little bit with more of a padding motion. And I think that's stunning. Cheese dust. Cheese dust and like swiping. Cheese dust is beautiful with a kind of swiping motion as well. That's just stunning. So yeah, I've tried pretty much all the, the kind of pigments. Let's just go into Diet, diet Cola. Um, again, finger would be beautiful with this, but even swiping like that's still working really nicely so hopefully you guys can see that final kind of thoughts on the palette and everything like that i think this is actually a stunning stunning palette especially if you guys want to start exploring a little bit with color and you want to get into like a little bit of a, a different something but you don't want like an all blue blue palette like the blue blood like you want a little bit more versatility and variety i think this is amazing obviously cookie monster the packaging is stunning incredible incredible quality it's quite a large palette but i don't think that you're going to have too much issues with storing this palette really amazing mirror i could happily take 
just this one palette with me and still be able to create a really wide variety of looks. I think it's just incredibly versatile, very, very high quality, same Jeffree Star formula that I've loved with all his other palettes. The blendability is amazing. The pigment is amazing. The staying power is amazing. And as you guys saw, like I didn't tap off my brush. I had next to no fallout especially with using you know some of these colors definitely if you do go in with one of the more shimmery shades once you've done concealer especially lower lash line i i just suggest going in with it wet because i did get a bit of fallout when that happened but that's my own fault i am very very impressed i'm pretty sure this is just the same size as his other like blue blood and thingy let me get them hold on blood sugar blue blood I think this is very similar height, maybe this one's slightly higher than the um, Blue Blood palette. Oh, Hazel's got my blood sugar. But, you know, I think, yeah, I think stacking wise, these, these are fine. Oh, look at you, chocolate lips. She's been watching, oh God, she's been watching Ben and Holly and eating Tim Tams. Shame me all you like, Karen. You want to say hello or you want boob? Oh, okay. I'm actually in love with this palette. I really feel like I'm gonna use it a lot. I feel like it's gonna be my go-to for a while. Of course, the series and everything has hyped it up. Of course, it's selling out in record numbers, in record time, is hyping it up as well. But having my feelings of for Jeffree Star and, and Shane Dawson aside, it's a beautiful palette. It's stunning. I love the versatility of it. The packaging is to die for. It blends really well and yeah i'm i'm very very impressed I, I, there's nothing negative for me to say so um shane if you're watching this god if you're watching this oh my god i'm gonna cry you're gonna look at little old me in my mess breastfeeding <laughs> but if you're watching this i'm a massive fan you have done an incredible job especially you know not having any major experience in this i think you've done an incredible job I think so many very well-trained makeup artists that have been in the industry for a really long time would, would struggle with all of this. And of course he had amazing guidance from Jeffrey. Awesome job, awesome job. And from what I've seen in the series, like you really stuck to your heart and did what you wanted and it shows, it pays off the quality and just, I can feel your passion in this palette, like as weird as that sounds, oh God, I just listened to that back. I can feel your passion. <laughs> Sorry, man, it shows and using the products, I'm just, yeah, I'm in love. So enough of me rambling. I'm gonna to get to editing this video as quickly as I can. Uh, for anyone wanting the mini controversy review, I'm going to be filming with that tomorrow and I'll get that video up as soon as I possibly can as well. Oh, you want the other boob, okay. Swapping boobs. And again, I will do similar to what I've done in this, in this video. I'll do a more kind of intense crazy look and a more subdued, naturalish look just to show you guys what you can create i definitely want to make more videos with this palette i love filming makeup videos for you guys i mean that's where i started here on youtube before the fashion before the ugly hauls and all that so anyway i'm rambling i'm excited i've done like 10 peas already <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate if you subscribed it would mean the world to me. I've been on YouTube for a really long time now and um, your subscribe, your subscribes, your subscribing means a lot. So leave me a comment, have a discussion. Let me know what your thoughts are on the palette, what you thought of the looks and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I really hope I was Oh my God, was I not in focus that whole time? <gasps> was, oh, I need, see, this is why I don't wear my glasses because of the glare, but then I can't freaking see. And I know I just look at myself in the viewfinder, but it's me actually trying to see if I'm in focus. Not that it works because I can't see anyway.